Hi everyone and happy Wednesday. Today I'm going to be going over 20 or 19. Honestly, it's 19, but I'm just saying 20 so it can be like an even number. 19 things to do on a plane because travel season is coming up. I know a lot of you guys already have spring break. Spring break is coming up for me in April. Some of you have it in March. Summer's coming up. You get the point. Travel season, like, almost here. And with travel season, there comes very long plane rides for some of you. So yeah, I thought this would just be a fun video to do. Some things to entertain yourself with on a plane. Number one is to watch a movie. Watching a movie while on a plane takes up so much time. Like, it's unbelievable. If you download a like, one hour movie, a two hour movie, you're already taking off one or two hours of your plane ride. So imagine if you had like a six hour plane ride, you watched like four movies. You could just get through the plane ride and you'd be distracted thinking about the movie. So that's always a good thing to do. Two is to read, I know, but I always find myself reading on long plane rides because usually I'll have some like reading homework assigned, like in the summer I have summer reading and it's just a good time to get it over with when you have nothing else to do to just do your like schoolwork or to read. My next idea is to play the I'd rather have magazine game. I don't know how to describe it so I'll use this collage to describe it. So basically what you do is you flip to a page of a magazine, let's say this is a page of a magazine, and you go, oh, I'd rather have this coat than this pair of jeans. And you'd like kind of just like play that game like that. Like if you see like an item or like hair or like makeup or anything like that, you'd like say, I'd rather have this than this. So that's basically what it is. And I always do this on planes if you bring a magazine. It's always fun to play this game. My next idea is to do work, whatever kind of work you might have, like schoolwork. I have a lot of YouTube work that I usually do on planes, like editing. Again, as I said for like the reading stuff, it's just such a nice time to like get work done because there's really nothing else to do and you might as well just do something that would be a little bit of like a hassle normally. My next idea is to go on the internet. I know some planes offer Wi-Fi. If you fly from New York to California, most planes have Wi-Fi, and I don't think you have it going over the ocean. But obviously, if you can access the internet, like, that's a good thing to use. Like, Netflix, YouTube, anything else. Like, all you could just have a normal time if you have the internet. Oh. Why do I drop everything? My next idea is to watch a show. If you have like a computer, go onto iTunes and download like five or six or however many like your flight is, episodes of your favorite show and then watch that while you're on the plane. And it's so nice. Another idea is to play a game. I will literally spend entire plane rides just playing a game on my phone. Last week while I was on the plane, I played Papa's Frizzeria the whole time, which is just like a fun game to play on your phone. So like literally go to the like Apple top charts and download a few games and you'll have so much fun playing them. Another thing I can do literally the whole plane ride is listen to music. Like, like all I did last week on a plane was listen to music and play Papa's Frizzeria. I know, so weird, but literally I just was so entertained and like, Time just kind of like flew by a lot faster and I was just like entertained and relaxed like that. My next idea is to write, I don't really know if you like want to like write a poem like or a song or whatever, you have to write like that, so. Another idea is to draw. I did this a lot when I was younger on a plane. I'd literally just bring like a little like sketchbook and a pen and I'd like just like doodle and stuff the whole time. If all your electronics are dead and you've like literally have nothing else to do, whip out your writing pad and a piece of paper and just like doodle away. My next idea is to organize your phone or computer or like just like organize anything you have. I love doing this on planes, like putting everything into nice folders, sorting through old pictures, sorting through my apps, all that kind of stuff is so useful to do on a plane because when you get off the plane, you'll be so relieved that everything's all clean and pretty looking. My next idea is to make music playlists. I think it'd be a cool idea to go onto Spotify and just like make different playlists for like your mood or anything like that. So that's one of my ideas. Next idea is to plan. I have a little planner that I write in and on flights, I love to just like write like monthly plans, weekly plans, like to-do lists 
all that kind of stuff is really nice to do on a plane. Like, I don't know if it's just me, but I just like love to plan, so. Another idea is to look out the window, just see what it looks like out there. Maybe you'll see some cities, some clouds, some mountains, the ocean. I think it's just so nice to see what's going on. Like you are like 30,000 feet in the air. Like that's something you don't see every day. My next idea is to make a bucket list for your trip. If you're like going towards your destination, write a list of things you want to do while you're there. And my next idea is to reflect on your trip if you're coming back from your destination, to like write about your top 10 favorite memories and all that kind of stuff. So why do I keep doing this? Like, I'm, I'm sorry. Another idea is to sleep, especially if you have like a 17 hour, like 12 hour plane ride. It's just like the best feeling. I've never experienced this feeling, but like I'm assuming it'd be a great feeling to go to bed and wake up in your destination. Like how amazing would that be? Next is to look through old pictures. Like I love going through like my, my entire camera roll and just like reminiscing on old memories. I love looking through like my old like iMovie or photo booth and seeing what I was like in like crusty second or third grade. Like my final idea is to have a plain snack and to eat. So yeah, this isn't like an activity or anything, but while you're on a plane, just like have a ginger ale. My favorite thing is a ginger ale in those little plastic cups with the ice in it and then you pour it in. I took a clip of that while I was on the plane, so yeah. So those are all my ideas of things to do on a plane. I know it was kind of basic. You knew all those things already. I know you knew all those things already, but I thought I would bring them to your attention more and just like give you 19 things to do on a plane. And if you're on a plane right now and you do all these things, trust me, you'll have a much better flight. All right, that's basically all I have for this video, but I will see you guys in my next video, which is going to be next Wednesday. Bye.